Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing out this face mask right here. I'm not messing around, I'm going straight into this video. This is the Capriel 24 Karat Gold Cleopatra face mask and basically it looks like you've got like a sheet of gold on your face when you're using this. And I really wanted to try this because I've seen it floating around on Instagram and I actually got this like back before Christmas and I finally managed to find some time to film this video. So I'm gonna basically try this out on camera and let you guys know my thoughts. So it says that this mask, it tightens skin, it lightens dark spots, it reduces fine lines and wrinkles and it's supposed to leave your skin with a majestic glow. And all those things, I want for my skin. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna open it up all for you. It's got the rose and gold serum here. I paid over a hundred dollars for this and I didn't realize how tiny this is, which I'm kind of disappointed by. And then on this side you have the gold sheet. So if you'd like to see me test out this face mask, then please keep watching. So in the instructions you have to start off with clean skin and then you want to take the rose gold serum slash oil. It feels more like an oil and I'm taking a few drops of that and pushing that into my skin. I'm making sure that all of the product is all over my face because this is going to help the gold leaves stick on to the skin. So here I am taking the gold leaves and it clearly states on here that you need to make sure you not touch it with your fingertips because it just goes all over your fingertips and trust me I ruined a couple of sheets like that. So here I'm just slowly pressing all of these on to my face. For some weird reason, this is the most like satisfying part. I don't know why, but I loved like kind of pressing it into my face and like making sure all the areas were covered. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I have about 10 more sheets of gold left, which makes this a really expensive mask because I'll probably get two uses out of it. And it was over a hundred dollars. So that's $50 a mask. So that doesn't make me very happy, but I'm just finishing off the rest of my face. Some areas are more difficult than others where there's less surface area, but I managed to get it done. And when I did have it all over my face, I left it on my skin for 30 minutes. And then when the time was up, this is the bit that I was really looking forward to. So I got some more of that oil and basically dropped some droplets all over my face. And I just dropped it straight onto my face rather than my hands because I thought this would be so much easier to do. And once I did have it on my face, I basically massaged this all into my skin. And I was like, yes, gold, like get soaked up into my skin. This is gonna be amazing. And I was like, hang on a second. Why does it look like I have brown stuff all over my face? I was really shocked that this was happening because I thought my skin would kind of like soak it up. But yeah, it just left this brown kind of gunk on my skin, which was weird. So I have just removed this mask and I definitely had to take all the excess off with a tissue because I felt like I was just smearing like brown stuff on my face. It actually felt quite gross. And these are the remainders of what was left on my skin. Which makes me think that the gold that I actually applied on to my face once I put the oil on kind of just sat there. Like, I don't know the science behind it, but I'm not too sure whether or not your skin can actually absorb, like, sheets of gold. Does that even make any sense? I don't know. But my overall thoughts on this face mask is that it's a bit of a gimmick. I would not recommend spending like $100 on something like this unless you can find something cheaper or like do a DIY of this. I don't actually think it's worth it. The serum on the other hand is actually quite nice. It has a really nice rosy scent to it and it does have flakes of gold in here as well. Again, I'm not too sure whether or not the gold inside this actually does anything. But if I look at my skin right now, I mean, it doesn't look any different. I mean, obviously it looks a little bit glowy because I've put a serum or oil onto my skin. But a part of me thinks I can put any kind of oil on my face and my skin will look like this. So I'm gonna give this face mask a miss. I don't think it's worth it. It's a bit of a gimmick. I felt like the oil did more than the gold sheets on my skin. But let me know if you guys have tried anything like this before and if you guys love it. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this kind of short video, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it. And yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought I would love it because I love weird face masks, but this one, and not so much, like I'm not the biggest fan of it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and please leave me links to weird products that you want me to try out. And whilst you're down there, please don't forget to subscribe as well. The button is just down there and that way you'll be kept up to date with all of my videos. And if you would like a notification every time I upload, then click the little bell, which is next to the subscribe button as well. And yeah, I guess that is all for now, you guys. I hope you're having an amazing start to the year. I can't actually believe 
we're almost at the end of January. Like this month is flying by. I do also have a video going up tomorrow. So please keep an eye out for that and hopefully I will see you guys then. Bye!